Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Ricky Ortega here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this YouTuber named Hunter Avalon. He is a YouTuber who is conservative, pro-Trump, you know, uh, Republican, you name it. He's against uh, trans people. He's against feminism. He's against um, pretty much anything you consider uh, progressive or anything that's not conservative, I can say that. He's pretty much against all that. So, without further ado, let's begin. And let me just let me just mention this too: that this YouTuber is the he represents what's wrong with conservatives out there. He really, really does. Like, there's no other better representation of what's wrong with conservatives than this YouTuber right here. So, let's begin. So, the video is called "How to Be a Liberal." So, let's see what he got for us. Okay, so first thing wrong with this video, not all um, progressives, liberals, leftists, whatever you want to call them, they don't all support Hillary Clinton. In fact, many of them would actually, most of them will actually support Bernie Sanders or, or none. You know, that doesn't mean that um, that they would support Hillary. You know, many of us in this com in the, in the left and in progressive movement, they understand that Hillary Clinton is a very corrupt politician. So, there's nothing to really dispute here. And also, many people don't realize this, but Hillary Clinton is a friend of Donald Trump to this very day. So, again, it's very funny that you that many pro-Trump people like to say, throw Hillary in jail, throw Hillary in jail, and all this other stuff. When Trump is a good friend of Hillary to this day, and yet you guys seem to hate on Hillary. Shocking, right? Do you have what it takes to be a whiny pansy? Well, not everyone in our community is whiny pansies. We just simply want to point out what's wrong with this country and speak on about it. I mean, I don't think it's wrong to do that. Also... What about the conservatives that were complaining about Obama during the last term? You know, were, were they pansies as well? Because he was the president, and they were all complaining about him during his presidency. So were they whining pansies according to your logic? Think about that. Do you have what it takes to be a total hypocrite? Yeah, look who's talking. <laughs> Do you have what it takes to be offended by everything? Yeah, again, Republicans can be offended by anything as well. It's not just liberals or progressives. Hi, my name's John, except when I identify as a Tom. And I'm a male, except when I identify as a female. Except when I identify as a gender fluid, human. Except when I identify as a toucan. I'm your... Okay, so this is the classic uh, attack. You know, gender fluid people attack non-binary people, attack people in the LGBTQ plus community. So this is where I have a problem with this, guys. So... He wants to go ahead and do this slippery slope fallacy of, well, I'm gender fluid, so the person next to me could be a car if he wants to, or she wants to, or whatever. That's that's basically what, what their logic is, is that is, it's basically when a person is gender fluid, that automatically means that the next person could be a TV or, or a box or whatever, and I, and I just find it ridiculous that people would go to the slippery slope thing. First of all, not, you know, no rational human being will, will, will identify themselves as a box or a TV or a helicopter or whatever. They're still human beings. They know they're human beings. It's not that complicated. Gender fluid is someone who, who inside they would feel that they're male at times and then other moments are female. I don't see anything wrong with them feeling the way that they feel about that. And there is actual science to prove this all as to prove all of this as well. So it's not just something that they're coming out in, out of thin air. But you know, it's just me, but let's continue. Your instructor, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to be a liberal. Number one, the look. You can't just say you're a liberal. You've got to look like one also. You can start by changing your Facebook profile picture. Again, not all of us are for Hillary. 
but okay. <laughs> Next, get some bumper stickers, and I mean a lot of them, and deck out the back. Well, again, Republicans can get bumper bumper stickers as well. They can put Trump. Actually, I've seen people in with with different cars that says um, Trump Pence 2016. So again, and there was other people that was say impeach Obama and that Obama was bad and anything like that and war this. So again, it's not just uh, our side that's been guilty of this. It's your side as well. Just saying. Your car. I'm talking bumper stickers that say ready for Hillary, uninformed voter, and I break for Bernie. Oh, okay. So we're uninformed because we don't vote for Trump. Is, is that the re main reason why? Because we don't want to vote for someone that's objectively a bad president right now? Okay, that makes sense. Hopefully a conservative will be driving down the road, see the bumper stickers, get distracted, and crash. His Obamacare probably won't pay for his medical bills. Again, I'm not even for Obamacare either. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like, this guy thinks that we all think the same way. It's, like, ridiculous. First of all, I am not for Obamacare. But let me tell you this as well. Obamacare is actually a lot better than what we had before. We didn't really have anything before we had Obamacare. And secondly, we can still improve. We can get uh, health care for all. We can get Medicare for all. Yet, people seem to not want that either. And what I mean by people, I mean Trump doesn't want that. And many of these conservatives, they don't want that either. Because they know that they will have to make certain sacrifices or whatever. And I, and I find it ridiculous that we don't have a system where we can legitimately help the population out with health care for all. I mean, other developed countries in the world has this in place. Yet the United States of America, the quote-unquote best country in the world, they don't have it. We don't have it. I don't get it. So he will die. Ha! One less vote for the Republican Party. Number two, be offended by everything. As a liberal, your feelings need to be softer than King Obama is towards ISIS. Everything is offensive. Okay, so everything's offensive, right? So you say that we're offended by everything. Yet when Colin Kaepernick kneeled before the flag of the United States of America... You guys got offended pretty hardcore, if I do say so myself. And, you know, you said, yeah, we had a right to be offended because he disrespected our country and everything like that. Even though he wasn't disrespecting the country, he was pointing out the injustices that happened in this country. That's the thing you want to, that's the difference. You know, so, yeah, you guys get offended pretty easily as well, if by your own logic that is. And... I don't get offended that easily either. I just find it amusing that you guys want to proclaim that we're the offended, we, we easily get offended, we're, we're victimizing ourselves and everything like that, but you guys do the exact same thing. It's annoying. I'm going to show you some extremely offensive situations that you should totally start whining about. Notice this older boy, for some reason, is coloring with crayons. He is using or that he's using the black crayon. Privileged, white, racist! Yeah, thanks so much, man. Alright, see you later. Again, that's just a bad portrayal of actual privilege that happens in America. Of actual privilege that happens here in the United States. That's a bad portrayal of it. I mean, just saying. Joe's such a nice person. Stop! Transphobic! Joe may not identify as a person. You must refer to him or her as a beautiful mass of living cells. Uh, um, what? Why? Why do we have to... Wait. No one in the LGBT community thinks like that either. We don't say, you know... We, we don't do that. You know, we don't do that. We When we see a person that says we want to be he or him or whatever, yeah, we'll identify you as he or him. But if a person doesn't say anything, we'll ask the person, right? But we're not going to do all the 
cells or whatever else. I mean, that's just being ridiculous. We we should ask we should ask the person. We shouldn't just do that. No, that's just no, it's just stupid. Uh -huh. Here we have a young man spreading his legs out in a comfortable fashion. If a woman walked in, she could be uncomfortable and get upset, triggered, sexist. As a liberal, everything we don't like should be banned immediately. But everything we do like, well, that's a human right and should be paid for by the government. Number three, be tolerant. Now that you're finished getting offended, whining, and doing nothing to improve anything, it's time to start being tolerant. This is one of the biggest requirements of liberalism. We are tolerant of everything and of everyone. Are you gay? Tolerant. Transgender? Tolerant. Christian? Kill yourself. Muslim? Tolerant. Wait a minute, wait a minute, and wait a minute. <laughs> I find it so freaking comical that, okay, yeah, we should be tolerant of transgenders, LGBT people, people that are white, people that are black, whatever. We should be tolerant of people like that. And then you started to say that, oh, if you're a Christian, uh, we shouldn't be tolerant because you assume that we don't tolerate Christians, or we don't tolerate, and, and that we always tolerate Muslims. That's a complete, complete fallacy. That's not true. In my opinion, I don't really have a religion, right? So I don't really think that religion should be this thing that we all should worship in government. I think we should have a secular government away from a religion, if that's possible. So yeah, I don't agree with Sharia law. I don't agree with with theocracy, I don't agree with any of that stuff. I don't think religion should be a part of any government whatsoever. So, and, and but another part to it, and the, and the flip side is that I don't, I will let people, uh, you know, have their religion. If they want to be religious, that's fine. I'm not going to sit there and say that they can't be a Christian or they can't be a Muslim. I'm not going to do that. That's their choice. If they want to believe in something, they should believe in that. As long as they're not harming anybody else, that is, and, and themselves, that's fine. White? I hope you and your privilege die in a ditch. Black? Tolerant, of course. I, I'm not a racist. Last. Again, white people are not the issue here. It's people that are racist that are the issue here. That's the big difference here. And yeah, any racist is bad, obviously. Not all white people are bad, obviously. We're just here to target the people that are bad and racist and everything like that. Yet you guys seem to think that we're always targeting white people or that we're always targeting men or things like that nature. And that's not true. We target people that are racist, sexist, bad, you know, whatever. Whatever that's negative. So, again, you got to be more specific with your citation if you can. Just saying, man. Certainly not least. Number four. Debate. Debating is extremely important. Now, when arguing, don't bother using facts. No. Facts are a liberal's least favorite at work. Instead, you can use extremely good, convincing arguments such as you're racist, you're sexist, you're white, privileged, homophobic, and racist. Let's see these techniques. Okay, so, you know, this is a classic one that many conservatives like to do, is that they would assume, again, strawmanning here, he's been strawmanning liberals throughout this entire video, but basically he's been saying that, well, liberals, they like to, uh, they like to, you know, name call people if they don't have an argument. That's what basically he's trying to say. And to that, I say that's BS. I think that there's many liberals... And I've known liberals as well that would make compelling arguments against conservatives, yet many conservatives, believe it or not, they actually resort to name-calling. And I've been name-called as well when I presented facts to other people. So again, it's not just one side. It could be the other side as well. Wow, shocking. And also, it's kind of hilarious that, that he would, you know only present one side as being the victims in this whole thing but never ever do they do, do these type of people talk to liberals actual liberals that are progressive they, they talk about you know 
they don't talk to actual progressives and that's what really bothers me is that they only seem to target the people that don't know anything or that don't know anything about what's been going on they just target the dumb liberals or the dumb you know people or whatever but they don't target the ones that are actually smart or they're prepared i don't know why in action here we have a conservative arguing with the liberal with my guidance the liberal will soon be smoking out this dumb little conservative i just don't really like obama i don't think he's been a very good president he's put us like super far into debt like statistics and facts show that oh no well to be well that's a bad uh statement actually because here's the thing obama was actually making the country well i'm not going to say obama was a great fantastic president or anything like that don't get me wrong but under obama the unemployment rate was going way down and the economy was on a steady rate of going up so again it's just a fact bush was the reason why we had the recession he was the reason why we were under so much debt during the late um during 2009 2010 that's why we had a recession that's why you know we had a lot of issues during the 2010s the early 2010s that is and then obama was able to not obama alone obviously but under obama's presidency we were able to improve the the stock market we were able to improve a lot of the stuff that that bush screwed up during his term of presidency Again, I'm not defending Obama whatsoever because he's not exactly the best president either. But you're not even presenting your case well either, so. Now, he's using facts. This is very scary, but don't worry. Call him racist. Now! You know what? You're racist! What? This has nothing even to do with racism. Quick, say it again. Racist! Are you even listening to anything I'm saying right now? Again, not all liberals, progressives, leftists, whatever, they don't all say stuff like this. They would use facts a lot of times. And many conservatives would actually do the same thing, the same type of name calling that, that they accuse us for. Now, this is not a race issue. <laughs> Look at him getting nervous because all the good arguments Stand up, look him in the eye, and call him homophobic. You're homophobic! Good. Now run! Run! Now you know what it takes to be a liberal. The real question is, are you ready? Remember, don't vote Republican. They're just old and white. Thank you everyone for watching. I uh, feel like a toucan now, so I guess I'm gonna go fly. This is Tom, except when I identify as a John. Ugh. Transphobic society? Man, I'm offended! Again, that has nothing to do with, trend, with gender fluid or non-binary people. You're just pulling stuff out of thin air with slippery slope. That's all I can say. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Uh, basically, um, my final thoughts on this video is um, do your own facts and research before you actually listen to people like this. I mean, if you want to be conservative, that's fine, but at least look up facts don't be like this guy that assumes that all liberals are stupid and they don't know anything. Because again, if liberals are really, really that dumb, wouldn't we all be conservative by now? So, that's it. Um, I hope you liked the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.